<laughs> hello, hello. We are at the Sanctuary Thrift Store in Homosassa, Florida. I like to come here the first Tuesday of the month because it's half off. That is not today. That is not today. So we're going to see what we can find. And if there's some stuff that's priced a little too high, I will remember to come back the first Tuesday. So I typically hear, sometimes I find clothes. They do have some dollar clothes, but they also typically have quite a bit of good linen stuff here too. And sometimes I find really good shoes. So I'm excited to go in and see what we can find. Let's go. Now, this store is one of the few around me that actually has quite a bit of little trinkets and collectibles. I really like this Niagara Falls jewelry box, but it had a really big scratch there on the front. So I decided to leave it there. And then this little ruffle vase was pretty, but the paint was pretty chipped and they did want $8. So we're going to leave that as well. All right. We have got our buggy. Look at their cute fall display. This store is very big, as you see. They have quite a bit of stuff. Now, if you've been watching me, you know I like to look at the seasonal clothes. You can find some great stuff. Now, this Hello Kitty scrub top was five, probably worth about 15 to 20. But with it being so close to Halloween, there's a good chance that that wouldn't sell in time and then it probably would be sitting for a year so i did decide to leave that one there and here they have their scarves and their purses sometimes i can find really good purses at great prices here but i don't see any today but i did see this awesome halloween scarf This was a really cute find for only $2 and in perfect time. Now, if you don't know the long bill hats like that one I was just holding, they can be really valuable. And this is a cool Brit coffee tour hat. It says, I love Costa Rican coffee. It was $3. I did end up deciding to leave it. Let me know if I should have picked it up. Now I did, this one was two. I did pick this one up. Football stuff is always selling really good for me. Now here are some trinkets and this one is amazing. I'm not sure what stone this one's made of, but I've made several hundred dollars on one similar. I think that'll go for at least 50 to 100. And I love that little window shade, but they had it priced at 15. And here you see this pottery is also priced at 15. So some stuff here is a little bit higher and there's not room for profit, but I still have to look because you still can find stuff. So that swan was 10 and I love this Tanala owl, but unfortunately it was 20 and it's probably not worth much more than that. So even on half off day, that cute little owl would still be just a little too much. We're going to see what's up top here. These Israel bowls, they're only $2, but they're not overly impressive as far as the design. So I did decide to put those back. And let's see if we can find anything else. This is so cute. The donkey pulling the cart and it is a napkin holder from Israel. So they do have some stuff priced reasonable. You just have to hunt for it. You just have to hunt for it and find those good deals. And there is just so much here. Most of this is new. It's more modern. And I do try to mostly pick up vintage. These little leaves were cute, but definitely a newer product. And they were actually really light. So I don't think they were very well made. So I did decide to leave those there. And we are just scanning to see if we see anything else. And if I miss something, definitely let me know. 
Now, up top, I saw this mug. It's $2. It was cute, but it was definitely a newer mug, so I did decide to leave that one there. And then this little snow globe you can see, I don't think all that black floating around was supposed to be there. I think the paint had come off the black kitty cat, so I put that one back. And here's a whole nother section of collectibles. I told you they have a ton. I really, really like that 10, but I don't think it would be worth very much. And then here's a cute little dolphin bell. Somebody actually just sent me one of those for Dalton. So we left that one there. And then see if you see what I see. And I will get it right now. This is an amazing Talavera treasure chest that I absolutely love. I absolutely love any Mexican pottery. Those bright, bright colors are typically Talavera. And then Tanala is a little more muted. The little boy with the fish was cute, but I think he was newer. And, and this is a gorgeous little bud vase, or it could be a toothpick holder. I love the lotuses and water lilies on this. And these do very, very well on eBay. Little bud vases like that are not very hard to ship and they do go first class. So they're cheaper for buyers when you are shipping them. So for a dollar or two, those are typically pretty good pickups for me. And I normally can get around that $15 to $20 mark and they don't take too long to sell. Now here is some sand. <laughs> it is from Alabama. If it had been a more touristy destination, I would have picked that up. Now here's a garlic keeper, but that one was definitely newer and would be harder to ship. And I don't think that it would go for very much. And as you see, the store kind of just goes and goes and goes. It is definitely a bigger store. Now here, these are cute, but $10 is a little more than I would want to pay for those plates. I only think they'd go for like $15 to $20. But here on the other side, these are actually, I believe they are marble. They are very very heavy these are 10 for the pair they're a really cool ashtray and i think that's a holder for cigarettes and then there's one on the back for matches so i love picking up carved stone pieces these are really really different and there is a pair i'm, I'm not sure if i'm going to sell them as a pair or separately i might i might sell them separately I think so carved animals like that do very well also now again most of these kind of knickknacks and small collectibles here are newer and those skis were really cute but one of the skis was missing so I did leave that and they have just so so much here I went to the pillows. I did not get this pillow. I had no signal in there and I definitely regret not picking this pillow up. It is worth $40, $40 and the pillows were half off. So definitely made a big mistake leaving this panda pillow behind at only $3. It, it was, it would have been a great pickup. Now, I, I'm not sure what this is. If you know what this is, let me know. It was marked 20, and again, I don't have signal in here, so it can be kind of hard when you're at stores with no signal and you find stuff you don't know because you have no way to look it up. So I had to leave that even though I really thought it was pretty. Now, I do want to point out the irons because if you see Rowenta irons, some of them are worth hundreds of dollars. So keep an eye out for Rowenta irons and this colorful afghan unfortunately didn't have a price so i wasn't sure how much they would charge so i did decide to leave that one and then this is a really really cute shower curtain which if you don't know some can be valuable but this one was just a generic tag so i did decide to leave it there i think it was three dollars not not too bad of a price but without a brand name i 
don't think it is worth picking up because it would take a while to sell. Now, here's some garden flags. The large ones are three. These would be great on half off day, which I actually, I missed. I missed going back on half off day, unfortunately. This one's really, really nice. Double-sided pansy. That one was marked at five. So I didn't pick up any garden flags that day, but they they can be good to pick up they can be good to pick up these holly tiles were really nice the set was five i only think they'd go for about 15 dollars. so i did decide to leave those there as well and it's really really hard when the blankets are folded and tied like this because it's hard to check for brand names on them and also to see what kind of fabric they can be like i like to pick up wool blankets they do very very well for me and the Scott Living one I thought about, that was the HGTV show with the twin brothers. It was six, but I left it there. However, this one here is only three. It's in really, really great shape. And it's a knit blanket. And the brand is Logo Prints, which is actually a good brand. So I still do not know what that says, but I do know that brand sells well. So I actually, I put it into the thrift box, still folded up. So if you get the thrift box, let me know what is on that blanket. And they have, as I said, a ton of linens. I love the blues and purple and turquoise on this little afghan. And this one's only $2 and I really like the colors. When you have stuff that's packed like this, you do really kind of have to dig through to see what is actually in there because there can be some good stuff hiding. I did not dig a ton this day. It really depends on my mood if, if I'm wanting to dig through stuff. This was a Halloween tablecloth. They had it marked at five. I think it was newer and probably worth about 10. So not worth paying the five to pick it up and then this throw blanket i always check out the tapestries again it kind of depends on my mood as to whether i pick them up right now i have quite a few and this one was actually unbranded so that's really the main reason that i did decide to leave it if it had been branded i probably would have picked it up because that one was in excellent condition and down underneath, I thought this was wool, but it was not. And it actually had animal hair all over it. So I put it back. Now, if you know me, I love looking at the mugs. This is Disney's Animal Kingdom. It is a Mickey mug. But unfortunately, they had all of the Animal Kingdom mugs marked at five dollars and that is just a little too much they actually are probably worth about 15 so if you, if you were a collector and had found these that would have been a great pickup i love the color on the inside of the mugs that's one of my favorite things but i did decide to leave those behind and then look at all these vases most of them are clear and not overly valuable but the thrift store is a great place to go if you need vases for flower arrangements for yourself this one really caught my eye it was ten dollars and unfortunately it wasn't signed this one might have been a mistake it might have been a mistake not to get it but i did end up putting it back ultimately as it did not have a signature and another packed room. This is the back room there. As I said, they have so much stuff. And this is definitely can be overwhelming to try and find the hidden treasures in here. But it definitely is fun to look. I saw this really pretty green glass. Unfortunately, there was only one. So I did decide to leave it there. If there had been a set, that is probably something that I would go ahead and pick up. And here, this is mostly kitchen stuff, appliances, pots, pans, things like that. And here there are some trivets. And I love cast iron trivets. Unfortunately, that one was priced at 15 which I think is probably about what it is worth. So I did decide to leave that one there. 
Now, this is a little University of Kentucky Wildcats little pull behind RV. I actually, I have the Gators one of that. And that one was too, probably worth about 10. I think I paid 15 for mine. I bought mine brand new at the store and I didn't dig any deeper in there. Now, this is a Motionette. It does still have the tag, the cute Winnie the Pooh. Unfortunately, they had it for $20. And this one, surprisingly, is only worth about $30. So, not very valuable. And I'm glad I did leave that one. However, look what is right next to it. Some more Israel mementos. This is a cute little ashtray with the brass and the hand painted on the interior and there is this little circle hang on the wall plate again another one from israel so that's why i was saying if you see one thing a lot of times somebody turned in a whole collection which is what you are seeing here cute little triangle plate most of these are going to be about $20, but some of them can be up to $30. So I did decide to get those three. And then I saw this beautiful turquoise tray. Now this one's a little bit bigger. It was priced at six, but it's a very, very pretty. And I really think that it was worth it to pick it up. Now here there was a lot of artwork. It depends on my mood. It depends on my mood and I did not feel like digging through the artwork. But I saw another Israel piece and this one is really, really cute. Says made in Israel there on the bottom and has really, really cute birds on top. This is a candle holder. Now we have almost went through the whole store. I saw this gold silverware it was 45 for the set. I picked it up to look at the name and it was not a name I recognized. Silverware can be very, very valuable. So sometimes it's worth paying up for, but with no signal and not recognizing the name, I decided to leave that. And then here was another set. And this one, I also didn't recognize the name. So that's it for this one. All right, so we didn't get a ton there, but some really cool stuff made in Israel. I do tend to notice at stores, if you find a couple of things of one type of item, then I would look for more. Like those Israel things were spread all over the store. Some really cool carved pieces there as well, which I've done very, very well with and I really like. So let's take a look at everything again that I picked up. All right, so here's our box. If you didn't see the giveaway, it's because I didn't say it yet. This scarf is going to be the giveaway. You need to put pumpkin in the comments. Do not put it in the chat. Put pumpkin in the comments. That will be our giveaway for this week. And then we got this Tampa Bay visor. This beautiful carved Phoenix should do very well. $50 to $100, I think. And then I got all of these beautiful Israel pieces there are actually six of them and this little bud base or toothpick holder i would use both and then i got this pretty crocheted blanket and this throw now i am keeping these because they're way too heavy they would make shipping too much for the thrift box so i'm keeping these two and the talavera box so what will be in the thrift box is these two blankets all of this Israel stuff and that beautiful carved Phoenix. Now let's go see who won the pillow from last week. All right, so I've got our address of the video in the word flower. Let's get YouTube comments. There are 219 entries, so let's go ahead and draw the winner. Connie H. These videos are fun flowers. So Connie, email me the nurse flipper at yahoo.com and I will get your pillow out to you and everybody else. I will see you next Saturday.